Chapter 14 Some friends you got there, I said, when we were safely inside the van. I inspected my neck in the vanity mirror. Freddy didn't answer. He fired up the engine. I already guessed that other than Uma, these were not necessarily his friends. They were associates of a low-down, dirty business. Some might be useful to him, just as he was useful to them. He could fix their car. They could provide for him if he got locked up or in some other sort of mess. Probably not good for bail money, but they could put down for an endless supply of Cadillacs on the commissary. Hot chocolate coffee could sustain the spirit behind bars. He had a pretty good lawyer and could get answers to questions about the law. And they knew people who knew people too and an ever-expanding and perforated web of attempted trust woven out from there. This was a culture of trade, exchange of goods and services under the table. And you'd need bulldozers to clear out all the bullshit manufactured in the process and a whole line of dump trucks to haul it off. A phone call came in before the wheels were rolling. Freddy took it. And there was Uma on the line. I could hear her. Her pitch had an expansive volume such that Freddie had phoned quite a ways from his ear. She wasn't happy about the way that I cut in on one of her girls, sure. But she was considerably more upset about the drama that punk kid, Maze, brought into her home. She was wondering where the hell he came from and who he came with and how he could have broken up a pretty festive party, which could have paid off for her rather nicely, god damn it. Freddie let her vent for a little while, apologized for not being able to intervene sooner, then reminded her, I'm driving, which did not stop the flood of her rant. He listened for a while longer, offering intermittent acquiescence, breakbeats of verbal intercourse, then, finding himself unheard, made some closing remarks in a rhythm and tonality antagonist to hers, and hung up while she was still going on. I could not believe that Freddie had not told her to put the chick down who attacked me. She could have punctured my jugular. I kept it to myself. I too was wondering about the lost boy, Maze. Where did he come from, and... Where had he gone? I was fascinated by him and that attitude of his. He really turned me on. Would I ever see him again? Oakland was just large enough not to know. He might get swallowed up. So was I. Maybe we would meet in the gut. Hopefully I would find him before the enzymes did.